Ohio and good morning. We are once again in Japan. I rented a car for the second time and we are going to D1 Lights. This is a drift event that takes place in Japan. I really don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Made it to a Lawson nearby and I think we're in the right place. Look at that site. I am almost positive they're going to the same place. Oh, a uh, photo? Yeah. Oh, it's oh. oh. Yeah. Hey, hi, hi. 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 This has got to be the way. Bihoku. Let's let the adventure begin. Now that was a journey to get here. Two and a half hour drive. A tiny bit late, but better late than never. Um, I I don't think the event started yet. It doesn't sound like all the cars are going crazy. New 86 on some Advan GTs. Coming from the parking lot, this is such a beautiful view. I love the Advan Yokohama right there as well. <laughs> Looks like the pits are right over there. All right, I'm starting to hear some, some good noises. This experience feels more kind of grassroots feeling rather than the D1 GP. Wow. I'm literally walking so close to all these cars. I got a little taste of what's in the pits. I am gonna find a place to sit though. to be around these sounds, smells, sights. I love it. Already I could tell that this is less of a spectator event. Um, like D1GP, there was like all these stands, but you're just standing watching them go in rounds, like one after another. It's a little different. A couple of them. Going up, get a better view. Right. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Thank <laughs> you. 
the cars are back in their pits. I don't want to get in the way though. The thing about not speaking the language, I don't know whether I'm allowed to go in the pits while they're in it, so let's be respectful, I'm not. I'm just from afar filming. Okay, so this is the layout they're doing. Wow, I'm impressed. This is a great atmosphere. It's not too like official, just laid back event. I really like it. The guys I bumped into at Lawson, I asked them a question whether you could go to the pits or not. Luckily I didn't because you're not allowed to do that until the actual racing is over. Kind of makes sense because people are going to be going in and out of their pits. It's a little dangerous. What better way to attend a drift event without matcha? Alright, they're doing tandems now. I think everyone's meeting downstairs. Hey, 
気を発揮できるかどうか。<笑>こんにちは。はい、どうぞ。よかったらもらってください。ありがとうございます。じゃ続きまして野村選手に感想と感想の意気込みを聞きたいと思います。おめでとう。誰が感想や。<笑>はい、感想の感想ね、感想の感想、はい、感想の感想、言います。嬉しいです。そうですね。three two one。Such a cool experience. I get to walk on the track. What? All right. That was amazing, and I was not expecting that. Seems like some of the drivers have packed up, some spectators are leaving now. I think it's time for me to go. I was hoping people could uh, visit the booths, but I really think that the whole day it's just private. What a different event, even though it's D1. This is D1 Lights, and compared to D1 GP, that was way more extravagant. All like, all the big budget cars. This is a little more tamed and I think I missed something. Okay, let's take a look now at the parking lot of D1 Lights. Is there anything good? I mean, there's an S14 and an Alteza, which is uh, pretty cool. Wow. It's a kooky as well. Not bad. Over here peaking is an RX-7. FC. Pretty clean, actually. On some RGs. Of course, at the last corner, it's the best for last. I don't know if you guys already knew, but R32 wheels are literally my favorite wheels. And they're on this FC. Dang. FC, and right next to it is an R34. Wow. On some Advan GTs. That's a nice look. JZX parked literally off the road. While we're here, let's talk about how many amazing people there are at D1. I literally saw people from like back in the day, the old drift videos, like the OGs of the scene. I, I'm pretty sure they were judges and it was so cool. It felt like I was in a movie actually. With this event, you actually kind of could get up and close uh, to the drivers that there was a meet and greet, they were giving out stickers, you could take a closer look at the cars and walk on the track. I thought that was amazing. Now that I'm going to these events, I'm starting to notice, for me at least, it's more about the people. Like I want to be inspired by people, meet new people, and I've been trying my best to like say, oh can I take a photo and like send them it through Instagram and that's kind of how I make friends out here. Besides the language barrier, if you're into cars, you're gonna get along with someone. 
everyone is so friendly and seeing the drivers specifically be so dedicated to their craft super good at driving no matter what it is whether it's driving or a sport seeing someone that progressed and the potential that i could progress definitely is a healthy experience for anyone i'm glad you guys tagged along and hope you guys enjoyed the ride that about sums it up thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video